let's throw a cat toy. All my settings good? I think so. You guys can see me, hear me. I haven't streamed in a week. I'm sorry about that. I honestly don't even really have time to stream today. There's, I was supposed to get picked up, I think, in the morning. It's like 10 in the morning. I was going to start a new save. I, uh, it sucks. I really wanted to live stream all week, but I was either working or very tired. I was really looking forward to streaming today. And it turns out it's Father's Day. It's always something. It's always something, dude. Somebody's birthday, some event. A wedding. Something special happened. Always. It's like, hooray. I'm glad I work and do a bunch of other bullshit. So what am I trying to do right now? I'm trying to, like... Check my microphone settings. Properties. Alright, the sync offsets at zero, so everything should be fine. I just I feel like a fucking moron. It's like here I am with aspirations to be a streamer and what do I do? I hardly ever even live stream. Cause I'm too busy trying to survive. I absolutely I absolutely hate it. If I had the ability to be a, if I had the ability to be a hermit, you know, I could just like hermit up and live stream constantly, I would do it in a second, dude. But I guess not something that I have the option to do. All right. Hello there. Hey, Rick. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Uh, oh, I have a favorite I can load. It's been a while. I'm usually way faster at this. I'm pretty slow right now. No, no, no. no. That's it. That's me. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's me. So, I know it's a broad Hello sword there. run. And hey, HLC. You're also here. Very awesome, guys. Glad to, glad to see you guys here. Thank you for giving me a reason to smile. Alright, so... Oh, Thanks wants me to play fetch with him. So, uh, yeah, it's broadsword playthrough, but I pick, I pick Wretch to start with, so I won't actually get the broadsword until after I defeat, uh, Crystallion. It's a, it's a ring blade Crystallion in the crystal caves of, is it Raya Lucaria? Raya Lucaria? I don't know how to pronounce a damn thing. HLC! Subscribe for two months, damn boy. Very awesome. Thank you so much for the two months of subscription. I'll try to be better about giving you more live streams. You don't know how much I am pissed at myself for not live streaming this past week. Week? Week? I could punch myself in the face until I lose a tooth, dude. I seriously could. I'm so pissed at myself. I thought it was five days. I looked back and saw that it was a week. I'm pretty sure it was a week. I don't think it was five days. Maybe it was six days. But regardless, no bueno. Oh, man, he got me. I tried my hardest. I like how the music stopped as I died. That was actually kind of fitting. Now we're listening to Controls from Star Fox. <laughs> it's kind of funny because this is at the very beginning of Star Fox. You listen to this music and now it's like <laughs> the very beginning of Elden Ring and this music's playing. I'm just taking a nap to some nice peaceful music. It's a sleepy day in the lands between. Here in my here in my comfortable cave. I have a horse. What the hell? Is that that spectral steed? What's the spectral steed doing here? I ain't got no maidens. Bruh, it's totally a spectral steed. I don't ever remember watching this cutscene. <laughs> I probably watched it in my first playthrough, and I probably skipped it every single time since. Who's Fortune? We found him Are they a powerful we ally? Him. So if I pick she, does it say her? I assume it would. Alright, I've had enough of watching this lady and her donkey. I'm good. 
Okay, so first things first. We have a lot of running around to do. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass. So we have to stop. Uh, we, well, we have to we have to go to the gate from Sight of Grace in order to get the spectral steed, and then uh, after we get the spectral steed, I'm gonna kind of run over here. I'm gonna kind of run over there. I'm gonna run over there real quick, and all all all, all these things where I run here, I run over there, I run over there. I'm making my way towards the crystal cave, but I'm gonna make a couple of pit stops along the way uh, to grab some upgrade items and some things that'll help me out in the future. Uh, so I'm not making a I'm not making a direct cut straight to the crystal cave but it's it pretty much is I'm grabbing beneficial things along the way is what's gonna happen and I'm doing it all legit all my practice saves so far I've pretty much had uh, cheated stats to make it so I have tons of health and resistance except I don't make my damage any better I leave my endurance and my dexterity and my strength all at base so that I suck butts at damage and don't have a lot of stamina but on my ps4 on elden ring i made it all the way to god's can do which is god's can do as far as i farthest i've made it with the broadsword only uh usually i have like 99 hp though but on on ps4 i did it legit and i got myself all the way to god's can do it was pain in the ass i got stuck at morgot for a while i think it's it's, it's such a difference in mentality between fighting morgot and fighting the god's can duo morgot's like you like dance with him and you're it's it's an aggressive dance you want to take a lot of swings with the broadsword uh against morgot if you want to you know kill him in a reasonable amount of time and not have to dodge who knows how many of his attacks but um gods can duo you have to be like passive almost in order to succeed all right so she's gonna show up and she's gonna offer me a cord i'm pretty sure is what happens i'm awfully close to this site of grace <laughs> but yeah i gotta i gotta sit at this one and she'll be all hello my names not melania it's something else i don't remember what it is i always want to call her melania isn't that her name? That's the boss, isn't it? Stop asking me to finger you, Maiden. This is this is a rated R stream. If you refuse it, she just doesn't give you the the freaking spectral steed whistle. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, so I need to go to my flasks. I need to allocate my flask charge and I do it like that. Boom, bada bing. Okay, and then I'm gonna get up. She gave me a whistle that works every time. And GMT song that nobody knows. That was a lyric from something. I think it was. I think I can't remember even the name. Title of the song. I haven't listened to it in so long. It's like a song I listened to when I was in high school, which is like eight years ago at this point. When I was, I mean, I'd be like 16 when I was in MGMT. <laughs> they still make music. It's a lot different than it used to be, because they're actually like making music they want to make, not music to try to become hits, but. I don't listen to any of it. Magic dogs! I've never understood those dogs. Why is there magic dogs? Okay, so this site of grace I actually would like to teleport back to later. So I am going to discover it. And then I'm going to get back on my horse. My horse is amazing. I actually should have saved seeing that for another moment. Because coming up in the next half hour here, hopefully less than that, there is going to be in a, mom a moment where I do a pretty miraculous... A couple of moments of miraculous things with the horse, actually, come to think of it. Oh, yes. Perfect music for going through the lands between at night. Very... <laughs> This couldn't be more appropriate. Oh, I just realized I don't have my stream in performance mode. I honestly don't want to listen to this. Ow! Run! I love having my camera speed at zero. <laughs> See how slowly it moved across there? Whoa, don't jump off the edge. Whoa, Nelly. Freaking Banjo and Kazooie. When you're, like, picking a load file... There's one of them where he's playing a Game Boy, and this music's playing. That's what this is. It's Banjo and Kazooie load save file music. Specifically, I think it's file three? Does it tell me on here? 
Game select three, yeah. So you choose the third save file, and you're kind of hovering over the third save file in Banjo and Kazooie, waiting to select it. It shows him playing a Game Boy, and this music is playing. It's just like typical Banjo and Kazooie theme. Digitized. Sorry, Wolfie, but I had to do it. Had to. It's tradition. Uh, these sites of grace important? I don't think so, but I can I can go get an upgrade on my flasks. Oh, that also reminds me, I need to go into here. I need to remove that, because that'll F me up real bad if I don't do that. Church of Erith. Thank you for the sacred tier. Okay, so typically at this point, people would probably just continue on to the left, and that makes sense, but... I'm not going to do that. There are some <clears throat> golden runes I'd like to collect, actually. There's a number of things that um, I don't have, and I don't really plan on making stops to fight things. So it's nice to have some runes! Holy mackerel! It's nice to have some runes to be able to uh, spend. Dude, holy crap, how fast is the moon going up there? Did you see that? That shadow was like... That's how, that's how day and night cycles always look like in video games. Fast as shit, boy. Who needs Sights of Grace? Who needs them? Keep riding. Listen to that. Baroque? Yeah, Baroque. From RuneScape. Whoa, man. Watch where you're throwing those things. I like how I had time to see it coming at me and move out of the way. <laughs> Okay. Doing decent so far. So there's going to be a couple of... Where am I? Where's the path? Oh, there it is. Sight of Grace that I'm also not going to sit at. Just flying right on by. Don't even need it. So we, we are going to grab golden runes on this path up ahead, and then we're going to keep following the path? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done any of this. But there is... One golden rune and another golden rune, so that's golden rune three and a golden rune six that I just picked picked up. Ah, it's nighttime. There's gonna be knights cavalry. That's alright, we'll just keep pushing past. It'd be badass if I could fight this guy! But I have never practiced against Knights Cavalry. I'll save that for if I ever, ever in this game get to a no running past enemies playthrough. And then I'll be like, ah shit, it's nighttime. Early game, gotta fight Knights Cavalry. Okay, yeah, we can just sit right here and there's nothing he can really do about it he just goes away bye bye hey 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 don't talk to me hey forgive me to deter if you have it seems my torrent whereas i am there is i can take gathering not yet not yet no no i ain't ready for that you ain't ready for this dun, 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 dun. you know that song <laughs> probably not based on me doing mouth version of it we ride all right so there's gonna be a couple more golden runes that I would like to grab so there's one right on this bridge that you can nab boom golden rune three for me and then you bail off to the right immediately after grabbing that and I think it's right there there's another golden rune right here boom golden rune four and we just picked up Okay, now I want to head west. Pretty sure I just follow to the west, and we'll find a another golden seed for upgrading our flasks with, as well as be close to a site of grace that I'd like to stop at. There's the golden seed I was on the lookout for. So yeah, heading directly west after getting that from the church is the way to go. That golden rune from that destroyed church. And I head west, get the golden seed, and then you're right next to this, which is intimidating but easy enough to blow past on a horse with no real issues. Soldiers can't do anything about it. You can even get some smithing stone threes if you grab Oh, it's one smithing stone three that I grabbed. But I actually don't spend it on this character. It just saves me some... Well, it'll save me some runes later on. 
Okay, so now that I'm at this site of grace, later on in the playthrough when I want to get into the academy, I'll be able to just teleport straight here. I pretty much have to pass by here anyway, so I might as well make a little pit stop. And then you go down to like the second flattening, and you jump over to this thing. Survive. If you miss, you die. So you don't want to miss. Alright, and then there's a whole bunch of other golden runes I can grab from over here. Beat Godskin Duo? No, this is a new character. I didn't beat Godskin Duo yet. I just, I'm, I can't do that to myself right now. I would just not be streaming at all if I was forcing myself to fight Godskin Duo again. And I was like, what, I, I just, I, I searched within myself for what I truly wanted to stream. And it was like, honestly, what sounds like the only thing I would enjoy right now would be starting from scratch and just practicing what I know already. Because I just... My butt's been hurting pretty bad, and, like, I need some good feels. I got poisoned. I'm not happy about that. There is some more golden runes back there I could grab, but I'm pretty sure I got a decent amount, so I'm just going to take off. Hey, Tahoe. You got COVID and it sucks? Are you practicing your run? Damn, dude, I'm super sorry to hear that. Hope you'll be all right. Yeah, I basically, I basically am practicing my run. I started, I started a new character, so we haven't even fought any bosses yet. I'm just running around, um making my way to the first boss I fight and grabbing, grabbing some golden runes along the way as well as some flask upgrades. I'm not going too crazy out of my way for anything because I don't like to waste my time. God damn it, Kukri. There we go. Okay, bye. He's not very happy. Alright, so you run along this way and we'll be at a site of grace before too long that I can stop at. And then I'll be able to get rid of this poison that's slowly killing me. And then... Near that site of grace is a church that we'll be able to upgrade our flasks with the sacred tears from. And then near that church is a cave that we can fight the first boss. Well, the boss I like to fight first for the... For the smithing stone. The No, not smithing stone. The thing that allows you to buy the smithing stone, the miner's bell bearing something or other. I don't remember what the hell it's called. Okay, here's that site of grace I was talking about. The one that we'd be at before too long. Vaccinated, but still feeling kind of bad. Missing work since Thursday. Still tested positive again this morning. Guess Elden Ring all day today. Do it up, do it up. Alright, so I call my horse. And we ride. Okay, so there's that walking mausoleum over there, but we're actually headed for these cliffs. There's a cave pretty much right next to that walking mausoleum, and that's that's where uh, the ring blade crystallion is that I can fight in order to get my weapon upgraded. But I actually... Oh, uh, I could get the broadsword before then, I guess. I really could. But it feels kind of goofy to me if I get the broadsword before then. That horse jump right there? Amazing. Hmm. But I could teleport from... I think I'm going to get the broadsword first, so I don't actually ever fight anything with this club. That's Knight's Cavalry, right there. No thanks. I'll avoid Knight's Cavalry. Can your run use good talismans? I mean, I suppose it could, but I haven't been doing... I haven't used any talismans. I'm kind of on like a Dark Souls 1 mentality, almost. Even though Dark Souls 1 had rings. <laughs> And the talismans are the rings of this game. But, like, I'm kind of doing a thing where I don't really go out of my way to get much. What I'm doing right now is the most you'll see me get out of my way to grab items. Okay, so now that I have the sacred tier, I could actually, like... I have enough for a broadsword. I do. I mean, right there, two, two grand. I think the broadsword's 1,800, if I remember correctly. So I'm pretty sure right there I'm good. Oh, I'm definitely good now. So, I mean, really, at this point, I could just go all the way back to uh, the first step here. All right, I don't want to listen to this track. I just don't. It's very short. It's literally, like, almost over. It's a minute long, and I'm over it in 30 seconds. Rainy Day by Animal Crossing. I'm about to cry. I'm, like, shaky today. And this song makes me so nostalgic for my childhood. Times were better, man! No, I'm all worried about money all the fucking time. It sucks. Okay, so we're at the first step. 
and you can go behind the first step on the miraculous horse and there's like this little ledge here and oh no I fell boom I'm okay so we go down here to my favorite salesman in the game favorite salesman in the game right here Wretch start how far into the game are you did you get Godric no I'm not I I mean I, I yeah I did I did do I don't know if you can really call it. it sounds weird when you say Godric skip but yes I went over and took the took the bridge to get to Lee Ernia. I haven't fought a single boss yet this is a brand new stinking playthrough look at my stats everything is 10 Everything is 10. My weapon's unupgraded. I don't even have a broadsword yet. I'm about to get the broadsword. I just started. I just started. So here's a broadsword for 1800 like I thought it was. Alright, so broadsword run can officially begin as advertised. And at this point, I am going to teleport back to the East Gate Bridge trestle. And then we're going to head for the crystal boss I'm gonna kill the crystal boss use the runes from that to purchase stuff to upgrade the broadsword and then we're off to Margit. Margit's gonna be the second boss but uh, we need to get our weapon upgraded to plus six first and I needed to I needed to get some runes and some and I wanted to get some flask upgrades so I got plenty of I got plenty of golden runes we're gonna get even more runes from killing the crystal boss as well as unlocking the ability to upgrade smithing stones to make my weapon get to plus six. Then we're gonna fight Margit. Broadsword acquired, hell yeah. So, the cave's always kinda tricky to find, but I've been getting better at it, I think. I'm pretty sure you just take a hard left here and it shows up. Hell yeah. You don't know how many times I've struggled to find this cave. I've struggled so many times. So I actually have to broadsword at least the first part of the fight against this boss. If I don't use the two-handed broadsword, then my weapon will bounce off of the boss. And I really don't want my weapon to bounce off the boss. Once once the poise is broken, though, it will not bounce off. I should probably sit at the Sight of Grace. I'm, I'm playing it like I'm doing a no-death run, but this isn't a no-death run. I eventually want to do this as a no-death run, but I'm not that good yet. I'm far from that good. I can't even get past Gods Can Duo for Pete's sake. So, got a long ways to go on that. I'm gonna do probably a lot of just regular playthroughs of this style slash just a lot of training on bosses in this style because I'm, I'm training for a no death run in this style. I love doing this. Cracks me up. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, bonkers! I thought he was gonna blow up as soon as he stabbed the ground, and he didn't. He, like, stabbed the ground, and then he was charging up his magic explosion. No reason to stop yet. There was a shortcut I could have opened up right there, but I just kept running. There's no worthwhile anything for me on this playthrough in this cave, and the enemies are biatches. So just, ow! Keep going. Told you the enemies were biatches. I like your rocks. Thanks. I actually have enough smithing stone threes now that I could upgrade my weapon to plus seven if I wanted to, but I'm actually not going to do that. Four restrictions on my run. I only allow myself to upgrade my weapon in line with the- Oh, for Pete's sake! I only allow myself to upgrade my weapon in line with the smithing stones that I can purchase from the maiden husks. So if I can't purchase smithing stones from the maiden husks of that level, then I'm not allowed to spend them. This is the hard part of the fight, where it's actually a fight. Once her poise is broken, the fight's over. She can't even... Oh, I rolled all over it. How did that not hit me? Once her poise is broken, she can't even fight back. Oh my god, how am I not getting hit? I'm the luckiest little son of a bitch ever right now. I didn't even put the battle music on. Ow! 
Okay. This music for peaceful playlists, though, I mean, this is pretty decent for fighting this boss. Ah, uh, you missed. Woo. Oh, she's got more! Ow, that one got me. Oh my god, it almost got me twice because I rolled forward. <sighs> I only got one flask left. I'm actually not doing very good. There we go. Poise is broken, so we can stab her in the face! But then at this point, I'll actually switch one hand. And you can just, like, literally... Like, she can't do anything. The fight is over. I have officially won. <laughs> once you br once you break her poise, fight's over. She can't do a damn thing against you. Alright, so the Crystallion's dead. And we'll now be able to... Thank you. Thank you for the round of applause. I can never remember the name of this thing. Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 1. Whew, that's a mouthful. So yeah, I always forget the name of that. Wow, I'm looking crazy in this lighting. Alright, there we go. That thing's dead. From, from Balcor as well. Thank you. Thank you for the rounds of applause. Ah, shit. I forgot. We actually have to uh, talk to her now. I haven't been to the round table hold yet. Can I? I think I can go to the round table hold from this cave. But I had to teleport back to the entrance. Okay, so if I rest here, and then I... <coughs> tell her you're off to round table hold. This prompt right there, that always cracks me up for some reason, the way it's like that. Tell her you're off to round table hold. It, just, <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> they couldn't just put anything else there. <laughs> just tell her you're off to round table hold. <laughs> So creepy every time. The way I look. <laughs> oh man. Alright, we made it to round table. Hold. We can go over here and talk to these ladies who totally aren't dead. No, they're totally not dead. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna use this. A couple of them, you know? Boom. I'm gonna use this. A couple of O's. Three of them, maybe. A few, you know. That's pretty that's pretty nice amount of runes right there. Alrighty. We have eleven hundred no uh, eleven thousand eight hundred runes. And I am here to offer a bell bearing. Here you go. And I would like to purchase How many of these do I have? None? I need twelve of those, please. And how many of these do I have? None? I need 12 of those, please. Alright, at this point, we're gonna go talk to Non-Dre. I don't know his fucking name. He's Non-Dre. Just like all the other ones that aren't Andre. Andre! And he's over here. Next to Red Riding Hood. That's how I always remember, because she's there, like, the whole game. And there's a fireplace, which also helps me remember. Lay out your arms! Alright, I've got a broadsword. Boom, broadsword is plus six. I could make it plus seven, but that's against my rules. And at this point, I have 2,000 runes. I can probably level up with those. What does that bell bearing unlock? Smithing three and four? No, it's the first one, so smithing one and two. Uh, you can sit at this table if you're not a bingus like me. Apparently, I'm a bingus who's not allowed to sit at the table. Here it is. All right, so I can level up my vigor. Yeah, yeah, three more stats into Vigor. That's what I'm talking about. I'll go to Flask. I can increase the amount replenished by the Flask twice. And then I can add... Oh, no, no, no. And I can add charges to the Flask. Boom. Add charges to the Flask. Boom. Add charges to the Flask. Not enough Golden Seeds. That's all right. So I have six Flasks plus two and a Broadsword plus six to fight Margit with at level four. Hell yeah. Let's go do this. Okay, so I need to teleport to... Ah, it's way down here. Stormhill Shack. I need to teleport to Stormhill Shack, and then we're going to take out Margit. Godric's next. Cool. Unlimited ones and twos? Yep, unlimited ones and twos. Threes and fours don't happen until after I fight uh, Makar. 
Magma Worm Makar, who I could actually go after right now if I really wanted to, but I don't fight him until after Ranala. So I'll fight Morgot or I'll fight sorry, Margit. I'll fight Margit, Godric, Red Wolf of Radagon, and Ranala, all with my broadsword plus six. Oh, and Makar after that. Get myself up to the Altus Plateau. At that point, I can upgrade my broadsword to plus twelve, which I will fight uh, whatever bosses I have to. Is running. Oh, it's Morgot and Godfrey, I think, only. Morgot and Golden Godfrey, I'll fight with the plus 12 broadsword before going plus 18 to fight Fire Giant. <laughs> Art, he's an Andre. Yes. Dark Souls 3 Andre. Doesn't retaliate if attack. Art, he's an Andre. Mm, I don't know, he's just kind of old. He's kind of old, man. You know, like, Andre's seen a lot of shit. You attack him. He can't fight back anymore. He, his muscles only slam the hammer when can you level up your stats whenever I want I just I spent uh, all my runes got spent on my weapon so I only leveled to level four my vigor going up three levels because that was all the runes I had oh battle music shit The music started to battle too soon. I'm skipping the rest of this. I haven't fought Margit in a while. I'm probably going to die. I mean, I've been fighting Morgoth, but that's a little different. But he's not that hard. He's pretty easy. Damage is good. Damage is good. I'm so used to Morgot. It Margot's weird. <laughs> you gonna attack more? Whoa! What the? I didn't get hit by that. <laughs> Pain in the ass. What about wearing armor? Naked wretch for the win. Good luck. I can wear armor, but I haven't acquired any yet. What armor have I acquired? There hasn't been any acquired. Oh, dude. I was gonna dodge it, but I. Tried too early, I guess. Ooh. Oh my god, the roll spam was real right there. It's kind of a waste of a flask, but I'm scared. I need to get better. I need to do better than this, but I haven't fought him in a while. There's a lot of bosses I haven't fought in a while. But I'm, I'm decent at these. Not great, because of the time that has been spent since I fought them. It's been a while. I'm surviving. I'm whittling them down. Okay. Got a little greedy with the four swings. I'll admit. I'll admit. I should have stopped at three, but I thought he might be slow and I could get four. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, good job, good job. Oh, off the edge, off the edge. That's the first death of the stream. See? I could be a lot better at Margaret. That was pathetic. Off the edge, man. I knew it was a risk to heal when I went for it. Son of a bitch. Alright, come on, Age of Empires 2 music. Bring me home. This track's called Bass Bag. If I make him charge at me, I could dodge this one, take a swing, and dodge the next one, and then take a three swing. Okay, maybe just two before he gets away. Engage. Get away! Oh, too early on the roll. Oh, bastard. Yeah, his hand in the air means he's gonna swing that blade. He only swung one? I think it's because I got away. Wow, that was quicker than I expected. Yikes. GG, the edge of death. And that time, I don't know, I just choked hard. Honestly, I need to pee. I'll be right back. I gotta pee.
<clears throat> All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So the uh, the Age of Empires 2 music is not doing me good, apparently. You guys were listening to Sea Shanty 2 while I was gone. Oh, it's not even at the good part yet. I ain't that jealous. Sorry to skip it. I don't know. Digital Battle Cyberpunk 2077. I'm gonna skip that one. No quarter by fall uh, uh, from Fallout 4. Here we go. A fine night of debauchery. Red Dead 2 music. I don't suck. I can do this. I was expecting a second swing. I said he jumped up and threw it. I think I'm, <clears throat> I'm just too used to Morgoth. Margot is a weird Morgoth. Roll too early, should have done four. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I'm like stuck in the brush. About to roll off the edge. Oh, and then he pulls a quick one out of nowhere. He is a bastard. And you're not used to him. He's a bastard. Oh, really? I thought I stepped to the side and it would miss. I expected little dagger swings. He didn't do any little dagger swings. That was a close one. Barely dodged that in time. I was waiting so long for him to release the attack. Swing. Swing. He didn't attack? Oh, he did! He waited on it! He had his hand up in the air, and he didn't swing the yellow blade, and then he did. Like, Alright, then. Whew. Two swings there felt risky, but I got away with it. Okay, yeah. A little bit, a little bit of risk. Okay, this isn't so good. Caught up a little bit, and I think he still got the lead on me, though, to be honest with you. Hit him twice. Oh. I didn't realize he was going to whip something like that out. This isn't good. I feel like I wanted to get the hell away there. Big ol' slamma jam. Swing twice. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Fuck that! What? Middle of my iframe, man. I dodged the shit out of that. Baloney, man. Baloney. <sighs> Baloney. He goes from he goes from like sluggish old man to sudden whirly attack real fast. Oh, I hate that shit. Off to a decent start. What you got for me? I was hoping he'd do that jump attack where he jumps up in the air. That's the one I wanted, but he didn't do that. Now I'm in this weird dance. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm gonna knock him off the edge. I 
I thought he'd go phase two. I think he's doing it now. Just beat the shit out of him while I could. One in a two. One in a two. One and a two. Another one, two. Oh, I accidentally did the roll attack. Roll attack sucks. <laughs> Mommy. Ah, just kidding. Yeah, no thanks. He got kind of angry here, didn't he? Last little bit of his health, he's going ham. Fuck you. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. through all my flasks, but we got him. Hey, Pippin. Welcome to the stream. Glad you made it. Oh, I have my settings wrong. Usually... Usually in my settings... Thank you. Thank you very much for the round of applause. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't want to listen to him. I don't want to listen to him chat like that, so I usually... I usually have them muted. I don't have to listen to anybody as I run past. So, I really wish I could go through the front, front gate and survive. But I, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't run through the front gate and survive. I'll die. Alright, we're switching from battle to peaceful. This is too peaceful. This is a little better. You know, this is very peaceful as well. Rick saying GG's. Thank you. What is that, three tries? I haven't fought, I haven't fought Mar Margit in forever. So to take him down in three tries as a level four, I'll take that. I'll take that. That wasn't bad. Hey, could you not, please? Ow. Yeah, that's really uncool. Here, come over here. and Yeah, get away so I can sit at the damn thing. Oh, you're supposed to get away so I can sit at the damn thing. It's going to kill me, man. Goddamn thing. This is going to be the end of a no-death run for me in the future. It's this goddamn bird. Because I'm, this is eventually supposed to be no death run. It's far, far in the future. Oh, I'm supposed to level up at this point. I have 12,000 runes. So we can level up, boom. Went from level 4 to level 16. And my vigor is much higher. Godric is next. However, we have a little bit that we have to deal with before him. Because I am a scrub who cannot run through the front gate. I refuse to use that sidestep thing to get through it. If I'm gonna go through the front gate, I'm gonna be dodging it, dodging it like a man. Uh, and I have not trained myself for that at all. Wow, that's what I get for trying to cut corners. Literally, I guess. Hooray! I'm glad all the, I'm glad I'm all the way down here. Holy shit! Okay, that was a lot of enemies, but we dodged and weaved our way through them. All right, back where I left off. Smash all these, because that guy's going to try to blow them up. But if they're all smashed, then you can't blow them up. And nice job blocking the stairs, guys, as if I can't just roll through everything. Super tempting to backstab that guy. So this enemy in here, I cannot take him down with a broadsword successfully unless I use this cheesy-ass move. Which I understand people don't consider to be cheesy, but to me, it's super cheesy because it's such an easy... It's such an easy win attack. Such an easy win attack, dude. Look at that. Broke his guard with one swing. One swing, all because I used a tiny little bit of FP. Such a broken attack. So, I don't know. I need to, like, train myself against that enemy. Because, honestly, I don't want to do that if I'm going to do a no-death no run. But if I'm going to train myself to do a no-death run, I feel like I might as well train myself to go through the front gate. Instead of all this BS. Instead of training myself to fight another enemy with a broadsword successfully. I could just be like, what if... 
I just dodged a bunch of arrows instead. It can't be that hard. I mean, it's got to be kind of difficult, but if I think about it in like a better chaos boss fight style, where it's like, run here, dodge there, run here, jump here, run there, dodge there, and then you make it through alive. I do not remember where I have to go. Can you tell? Oh, okay, they're not letting me pass the stairs this time. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fighting. Or not. Let me pass. Ha! Ha ha, suckers! There's the door I have to get through right there. I don't know why it took me so long to find. Usually I'm all over it. But that time I was running around like, ow, ow, a doofus. I made a lot of mistakes. Okay, up the ladder? Yeah. Yeesh. <sighs> Peaceful Stardew Valley music while I almost die. Totally appropriate, right? Chug and run. Chug and run. Whoa. That just, that guy tried to grab me. You see that? That wasn't cool. Uh, I gotta go left. I'm always kind of confused about where I'm supposed to go when I walk out on this precipice for some reason. And it's left, left. So, ah, I'm getting closer and closer to Godric. Alright. Yeah, I really wish I could just go through the main gate. I need to train myself for that for sure. I'll probably, I'll probably train myself for that eventually. I mean, you know how sick I am of fighting Godskin duo? I'm so sick of fighting Godskin duo that I'm doing this again. Even though... I know that this is not the efficient way to train myself. If this is the only way that I can stand playing right now, then I'll play this way even if I- Oh! I know the smart move is for me to practice against the tough bosses, like gods can do so I can get past them, but I'm so sick of doing that, dude. Oh, man! Oh! Tried to do a death from above and it didn't work out so well. Got uh, slashed up. Somebody fell to their death. I wonder if it was one of those birds. What if one of those birds could fall to their death? I bet they can. From the roof down into that pit or something? Alright, so we just wake this guy up, and then we jump down here. And we turn around, and we run this way. That was difficult. See, if I could instead just go through the main gate, I would have been here long ago. But because I don't know how to just run through the main gate, I take this crazy long way. I bet, I bet I can survive going through the gate if I try hard enough to train myself. And I'm trying really hard to train myself against bosses, so if I try hard to train myself to get through that gate alive, I'm sure I can do it. Hopefully it's not something that's, like, very, very difficult. Frame, perfect dodges, required, then I'm fucked. Because even if I can pull it off, I won't be able to consistently pull it off. Goodness, if I don't just die at this point. Mama Juju, what am I gonna do? Hey guys, how's it going? Nice to see you. Do I get a remembrance of Margit by any chance? Is that a thing? Did I get a remembrance? Ah, no remembrance. Okay, that makes sense. I need to actually, like, sit in order to replenish my flasks. Alright, Godric, I am better at than Margit. Margit. Godric, I'm better at than Margit, yes. That's what I'm trying to say. Battle music. Eh, maybe better than that one. Too early. I thought I thought I thought I was good at this fight. And then I go and pull that right off the bat. Come at me, chum. Come at me. Swing on him. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Big hell no. There's a one and a two. Three. There's four and five. Oh god, I've rolled again. Why? Roll at me. Come on, roll at me. Whew. 
Uh, five swing again? Yep. Four and a five! Oh! Damn wind burst. Oh, damn wind burst again. Different kind of wind burst. Still wind burst. Where's that phase 2 EP, Hutch? Yeah! <laughs> Did you hear that? What the hell was that? There's the phase 2. Did as much damage as I could while retaining my stamina to be able to sprint up on him here and then do real damage. Are you kidding? Am I gonna die from this? I thought I dodged in time, but I did not. Oh, it was close. I can get the hell away. Nope, he's gonna kill me with this. If I'm really lucky, I won't get killed by this. Oh my god. <sighs> Horrifying. Horrifying. I'm doing real bad right now. One. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God, I'm glad I ran when I did. I thought that's when he follows up with a bite. No? Jesus. Yeah, I thought that was the madness. Uh, uh, the mad, the mad, mad, crazy follow up speed on the swing, and it was. I don't know how I would have dodged that if I was up close. Okay, okay. Roll, 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 jump. Dodge him. Swing him. That was close. Oh my god, that was close. I must have ran right into it. But I got in there. I got in there to punish somehow. Miraculously. Come on, jump up at me. Yes. Oh, I have no more flasks. Oh, shit. Roasted my buns pretty good, man. It's like Quiznos up in here. Got him. Whoo, close battle, but we took him down. God damn, Godric. God damn. Alright, so whenever he's done yapping, I'll be able to leave. Whoo. Whoo, that was a scary one, man. He's still yapping. There we go. Remembrance of the Grafted as well. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Oh, no, it was, it was Tahoe. My bad for saying Rick. Tahoe did the round of applause. Appreciate that. At least, I think. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, this minute. This minute, it says. Okay. I looked up and I saw Rick's message saying GG's. That's why I said Rick. Alrighty, so we have 40,000 runes now to be able to spend. Um, I could level up more. I actually, I kind of like... I actually enjoy getting the armor. I don't, I don't remember how much it costs. But hopefully 40,000 runes is enough. It might be too much still. But these husks have like a full knight set of armor and it's blue in color. I wish it was a different color. But, oh, it's only, okay. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Okay, yeah, hell yeah. Buy, buy me up this. So I have armor now. The naked run's ending. Uh, I was just doing that because I didn't have a good amount of runes to spend at any point. But I'll spend, okay, it's like 13,000. And then now we have this armor. You can buy sweet knight armor for maidens? Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of see it as like the beginner knight armor, like the elite knight set. I kind of feel like this is the elite knight set of uh, Elden Ring, is how I kind of feel about this. Because it's so easy to obtain. It's like right there. It's like the beginner beginner armor set, I feel like. 13,000 runes, and it's yours. I can still level my vigor all the way to 34 at this point, even after purchasing this armor. So we're getting pretty beefcakey, which is nice. At this point, I want to go to the South Raya Lucaria Gate. We need to fight uh, Red Wolf of Radagon, and then Renala, and then Magma Worm of Makar, and then I'll be at the Altus Plateau. So we already got the key earlier. So we can go right on in here. Made sure to grab that key earlier when I was running around. When can you upgrade sword to plus seven? I'm going to be upgrading my weapon from plus six all the way to plus 12 after I kill Magma Worm Makar. You can get to the Altus Plateau and you don't even have to fight anything. You can literally just pick up the uh, next Miner's Bell Bearing, Miner's Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 2, whatever the hell that it is. It's such a mouthful I can never remember. Uh, I twirl my little skirt. Twirl my skirt. Sorry. Cracks me up being this knight and wearing a skirt like you do. Ooh, there's golden seed on the other side of the gate there. Wait, really? I, did, I rock, did I walk right past a golden seed? I didn't even know that. I didn't know I walked right past a golden seed. All those guys. They can be a pain in the ass. Oh, he's, he's, he's on point. He's, he's on... Okay, no, he went out of the way. If he gets in front of you, one of these guys can get in front of you during the door opening animation. Like, the door will open, I'm still opening it, and then they'll get in front of me. That's a real pain in the ass if that happens. It's only happened to me once, though. So if you can't tell, I do a lot of running. I'm a runner, and it shows. <laughs> uh, stealing jokes from the office. Except it's Michael talking about his hypothetical wife. And he says, she's a runner. And it shows. Don't grab me. Oh, I said don't. You know, he's, oh, my health and my magic. He's just a perv, dude. You can walk through the Seal Main Academy at the end of bridge. Yeah, I know where it is, but I, I've never, like, I, know, I don't know how to get there. Because, yeah, it's, like, at the top of a bridge that you can't access unless you magically access it, right? Oh, I think I know how to, I might know how to magically access it. I don't know. I thought that wasn't after until you fought Renala. I thought that was after, I, I thought that was after you fought Renala, the one I'm thinking of. Okay, I haven't saw, sat at a side of grace for a while. This one, I, I don't know, feels like I should. Because so I'm pretty sure this is where Red Wolf is, isn't it? Yeah, this is Red Wolf. I, as soon as I saw that guy walking, I was like, yep, this is this is the Red Wolf of Radagon, Sight of Grace. A lot of people don't remember this boss. Fight it with a plus six broadsword, it's memorable enough. It's still one of the easier ones. Definitely easier than Godric. Alright. Red Wolf of Radagon. I really like this boss, though. I think it's cool. I think it's a really cool boss. But yeah, like, plus six broadsword. Look at my damage. Ooh, this thing needs, this thing needs, like, twice the amount of health for it to be an actually, like, good, memorable fight! You know, he just annihilated me pretty good there. Is he gonna jump up in the air at me? No? Oh, shit. Okay, I need to heal. No jump up in the air, huh? Oh, way too early, man. What is wrong with me? Apparently, it's still a pretty decent fight. Oh, I should have swung there instead. I ran away like a pansy. A couple of swings I should be able to get away with. Okay, 
Take a swing. A couple more swings, I think. Oh my god, I didn't dodge that. Okay, it's gonna jump and shoot! It shoots it way earlier than I expected to. It jumps and shoots, like, immediately. Big old jump and slam. A couple of swings for me. Magic. Big old jump and slam. Double spin. Okay. Magic happening and a bite, but I... Only got hit by the magic because I backed off as much as I did. Big ol' slam. Big ol' slam. Going for the final kill shot. I missed. <sighs> got it. Alright. Yeah, Red Wolf or Radagon's not too tough. Oh, there's a Sight of Grace that we should sit at, actually. I always, I always blow past this Sight of Grace. ER's version of Sanctuary Guardian? Maybe, I don't know. That boss is, it's too easy. It needs more health. It's a cool boss. It just it needs more health. But I guess like maybe you're supposed to I d I don't know. I I don't know. The whole design of Raya Lucaria is weird to me. Cause To me this place feels like post Godric, and the difficulty of it is all like way easier than Godric. Battle music's still going, and I'm over it, even though that Borderlands 3 track did me pretty well. Okay. So, Ranala's not too far up ahead. One of my least favorite fights in this game, for sure. Ranala is just, like, tedious. That Phase 1... Phase 1 Ranala can blow me so hard. All of them, dude. Pretty much just take the sidewalk here and you're you're good and safe. The right side sidewalk. See, I ain't even sweat it. I'm good. Is this guy I'm gonna open up the shortcut just because I don't know, I guess I don't have any confidence in myself in doing this on the first attempt. Ow! Got me with the bird shot. Alright, gates open. Shortcut open. Now these guys don't follow me this far, but as soon as I step up on these stairs, they're gonna be back all over me again. Okay, run, 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 run. Get away from that mage, which is good. We'll just have the one dude with the sword following us, but he's not too bad to deal with. Bye! He'll probably fall into the pit. Yep, he fell into the pit and died. Classic that dude. Sent the elevator back down, because, once again, confidence level, pretty damn low. Alright, alright, alright. I hate this boss. Phase one, just especially. Yeah, sleep tight, dude. What the hell? Dang, my first swing was a waste. I was just about to hit dodge and I biffed it. Oh, don't you throw up on me. Somebody should send that student home. It's clearly sick. What the hell's happening? Another one's puking. There's some bug going around this school, dude. This academy, sorry. Probably gonna have to do that a third time, sadly enough. Nothing like this track coming on for the rest of, for for me having to do this a third time. Hey, hey, hey! Where's the third one? There you are. All right, Renala, come back down here. If 
phase two begins. Thank God we're done with phase one, but we might have to go through it again if I don't beat phase two. Crap, I thought that was going to hit me for sure. She didn't get stunned. Baloney. Bruh, how am I this bad right now? This is pathetic. Oh my god, why can't I hit her? This is like the easy part of phase two. Oh my lord, dude, what is wrong with me? Yeah, turn into a moon. I hate that that magic spell still goes off. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, bad call on my part. I'm biffing it so hard, dude. Oh, finally. Wolves. Okay. Kind of the preferred one, honestly. Still a pain. Can you sprint? Felt like I wasn't sprinting for so long there. Dragon. Oh great, yeah, as the giant, as the dragon disappeared, here comes the giant. Thanks for giving me a chance to fight back. Good job, From Software, on the cooldowns. Oh, what cooldowns? That's right. Dancer. Freak's still after me? No, but she's got a pack of wolves now. Oh, I thought that dancer was gone, and then I heard something attacking. Oh, it's still here! Dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I'm not fucking dead. Holy shit, I thought she got me. No! I gotta go through phase one again! Oh, she's such a bitch, dude! That's the bitchiest I've seen her in forever! Pippin, you just got to mount on top of the giants? Nice, man, nice. That's the craziest phase two in the world! 
You just remember Turtle Talisman helps with stamina regen, super useful for broadsword run, dude. It would be. I'm just pissed because I have to go through phase one again now. It's like shut the fuck up. I hate phase one. And phase two, like, ugh. People complain about Dark Souls 2. And it's bosses like this. Not even bosses like this, just kind of like, Gank, ah! Uh. You ever played Elden Ring? Whole boss literally just spawns in little mini enemies forever. The phase one specifically designed just to annoy me, it seems like. Nothing worse than the singing enemies, dude. I hate the singing enemies in phase one. I hate those ladies over by Magma Worm Makar, you know? That are Ludu Saliwaku. You know, those ladies. I hate those ladies over by Magma Worm Makar. When you fought her, she was super passive in phase two. Did you see how nuts she just was? I don't know if you were here for the whole fight, but dude, she had no chill. She had no chill. Who throws a book? Honestly. Thought I heard it close by. Oh. Okay. If I'm really lucky, I can get through this in only two goes. If I am a beast about it. But look at the damage I did. I won't have to go through a third time, at least. Hopefully. F you. Stop singing. Nobody likes to hear it. Oh, I hate that shit. Let me just throw massive books at you. What is that? What, 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 just, what is that? Oh, dude. Uh, I'm already off to a worse start than I was last time. Last time I beat her, I still had five flasks going into phase two. Now I'm already down to four. Bullshit! How not? Are you kidding me? How did I do so much damage in fate in the first try? Now I still have to do this a third time? Are you kidding me? How did you not get killed? How did I get more than half of her health done in, in the first try? And then here comes the second try and I can't even finish her off? Are you freaking kidding me? I did like the exact same thing. Bunch of hole of blue, dude. Two swings away. Fucking hate myself right now. Three flasks for phase two. You better run. Get some shoes, you goddamn hippie. Only a hippie would wear something that stupid on their head. Calling in a giant before the dog even disappeared, she called in the giant. That's what I fucking hate about her. She has zero cooldown regarding her spawn ins. It's like, oh, the other one is still here? Let me start calling in the next one. And you're just like, cool, fuck me, right? Goes all the flasks. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, apparently a dog can bash sideways. Ah, I hate, I hate Renala. Goddamn intelligence builds, dude. Pussies. <sighs> you think Turtle Talisman could add about three hits before depleting stamina? Yeah, if it makes it come back fast, that's nice, too. Probably would help me, even though, honestly, like, I'd ha I could slap on so many things. Be like, challenge run this, challenge run that, challenge run this. But, alright, we can go after Magmar Makar now. Ricked out saying GG. Yeah, sorry for getting so ragey. She just really infuriates me, I guess. I don't even think being called a hippie is insulting, but I couldn't think of anything better for somebody who's barefoot and wears ridiculous clothes. Oh, this isn't where I meant to teleport to. I wanted to go to Eastgate Bridge Trestle. Go to Main Academy Gate, and you can just walk through the seal. Get the gold super quick. I mean, I, got, I think I need multiple in order to upgrade again. I mean, I guess I could go grab it. <laughs> Something I probably should do. It's like not that far out of the way it doesn't sound like i'm just like off to magma worm i have 64,000 runes to spend level 28 so i'll definitely be able to level up my vigor more i don't think i'm gonna level my pat my vigor past 60. rick you're putting breakfast together nice i had some eggs for breakfast today i was gonna eat a bowl of cereal as well but i didn't i just started streaming instead i've been having i've been having a rough i've been having a rough few days because I haven't been streaming and like dude I've been so like sore and having to work and it's like I don't want to do any of this crap I just want to live stream and then today's Father's Day and it's like I'm supposed to be getting <sighs> yeah my brother told me he's going to get me just before noon so it's like great I have like 15 more minutes to stream but he's gonna be here Like, when I do get a day off, I have to spend it appeasing somebody else, it feels like. Oh, I gotta go do this because I want to. Oh, it's this special day, so we're doing this. It's like, I don't fucking care about any of it. I'm just trying to live stream, and I hardly can. The fact that I didn't stream for, like, a week. I'm so pissed. What am I prioritizing in my life? Why am I not streaming more? It's because other people's happiness, that is the what's taking priority. It's fucking ridiculous. I need to be more selfish. Everybody else is an asshole. Why can't I do the same thing? Tahoe, you wonder if I'm East Coast time or Central? I'm East Coast time. It's 1130. My brother told me he's going to pick me up just before noon. And like I'm wearing pajamas, I still need to switch clothes. Get your dad Elden Ring for Father's Day. No, he's not interested in playing video games unless it's on the NES. Freak, say you're typing on Xbox because I caught you at low charge. Uh, understandable. Yeah, sorry for like just streaming randomly out of the blue and it being so short. I really wanted to go more today. This is like the only thing I can think to do right now that I can actually smile about is going through with the broadsword and playing through the parts of Elden Ring that I'm actually decent at with the broadsword. I gotta go do some other bullshit. And it's like, it makes me feel like an asshole. Because it's just my family trying to spend time with me. But, like... I don't have time. I don't have time to be productive in the way I want to be productive. And I could have throughout this week, but because I went over there on Wednesday and overdid it swimming in the lake and and getting pulled on a boat on the on the inner tube. I was all sore. I was sore for like 3 freaking days, dude. Every time every time I was at home, I didn't want to stream. All I wanted to do was sleep and not be so freaking sore. I just wanted to rest. So all this week I've been resting since, well, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I've been sore and resting, not to mention I also had to go to work uh, a couple of days. 
out of those two. I can't remember which day it was before Saturday, but I went to work yesterday and I was gonna stream yesterday, but then I got home and I was I was freaking tired. So this week I didn't stream like at all because I overdid it having fun on Wednesday and then I was all sore and tired trying to go to work and I had no energy to stream until today I have the day off today that's fantastic I got energy to stream totally forgot about Father's Day to be honest until yesterday when I got a text from my mom asking if I was gonna be coming over because tomorrow's Father's Day and I feel obligated to Not happy, if you can't tell. Tahoe, you say these bats are hardcore though, and the Queen and King Vampire Singer bats? I hate the singing ones, I was complaining about them earlier. Cause, oh, you were probably here for it. It was right when I was at Renala. I hate the singing enemies at Renala. I hate the singing enemies around these bats. They're so annoying, I don't wanna listen to you sing. I'm pretty sure I'm playing this game at like, lowest resolution. That's why it's kind of hard to read Flask of Crimson Tears plus two. It's not as it's not as clear as it should be. And if I go into like here and look at my status and stuff, eh, I don't think it's the lowest resolution. I think it's one up from that. I think I'm playing second lowest resolution. I have my settings so annihilated in this game to try to make it so my computer can actually handle streaming it and run at 30 FPS because I have this I have this game hard locked at 30 FPS or less. 30 FPS or less is what my computer runs this game at. So I try my best to uh, keep it running a steady 30 FPS, and it doesn't even always achieve that. Even with my settings annihilated. Ow. Ow. Oh, they knocked me off. This is bad. Okay, get up while they're distracted. Oh, come on! Yeah, now I can hear those ladies singing. Ah, so dumb. Give me up, up, up. No, don't fall off, you bozo! Can't handle a measly couple of bat claws? I'm gonna kill these things. Why do you have a ranged attack, Zubat? You screech, dude. God, I hate these things right now. All right, the rest of it's pretty guaranteed success. Your singing sucks. Boo! Boo! Oh, I thought they were all queens. Maybe it is a king and a queen. <sighs> Alright, made it to Magma War Magar. This fight's pretty easy. So we get our sanity back. Let's go take this guy down. Alright, there's Magmore Macar. He always starts off with some bullshit. This bullshit's not done yet, don't be mistaken. He's still on his bullshit. There he is. Probably do it a third time. Maybe even a fourth and fifth. Oh, I think he's done. Wow. I'm surprised. Usually he does that forever. So he starts off just as a regular Magma Worm. Nothing too significant here. Oh, nice. Get that critical. Boom. It's probably going to be going into phase two soon, which is what makes him different from other magma worms. He goes phase two. Oh, he stomped. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe he's stomping away from me to go phase two. Ah, bastard got me good there. 
is happening. Okay, he's doing his slow attack, right? Okay, nope, 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 run. Ow, lava. I can attack his tail, I think, pretty safely. Oh, no, he's going phase two. That's what's happening, of course. Herp -a -herp -a -herp. Big ol' slam. Dodged it. Lava behind him's disintegrating. That's good. Oh, he's doing the roll and slam. Dodge it. Okay, yeah, I, I couldn't really read that attack at all. I was trying. He's gonna spit lava all over. I can get behind him and swing at his tail. I don't know if I dodged that or if he just missed. Is he continuing to attack? What is happening right now? I am so lost. Holy crap. Yeah, bring in the derpy cyberpunk music, because that's how this fight's feeling right now. There we go, I was waiting for that to happen. Been slashing the crap out of this guy, it feels like. Oh, of course, I don't even get it. There we are. Got a little bonus damage out of it. Oh, dodge too early. When bouncing out from between his gonads. Alright, he's doing the roll and slam. He got me with the roll and slam. Wow, he never gets me with that one, but it's the last thing you'll ever do. Magma Worm Makar is down. Easy peasy. Not a hard fight by any means at all. GG, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Altus Plateau awaits. Indeed it does. However, unfortunately, I'm going to end my live stream here because I need to go spend Father's Day with my family. Hooray, I'm so happy that this lined up on my day off. So bye, guys. I can't stream any longer, even though it's all I want to do with my life, and I haven't streamed in like a week. This hour and a half live stream. And now I have to go. I'm gonna freaking cry, dude. Bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here, watching my stream, talking to me, hanging out with me. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope I wasn't too much of a downer. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Because it's super hard for me right now. I've been like a total downer this whole past week uh, with me really wanting to live stream but being really tired and having to go to work and being tired after work and not being able to stream like I've wanted to it's been it's been hard so I appreciate you guys being here uh, during the little bit of live streaming that I was able to do and hopefully I'll be able to stream more I work the next three days but hopefully I'll be able to stream more in the morning I close I close the next three days and honestly I, I prefer streaming in the afternoon than I do in the morning I'm uh, I, I put in a request to change my availability, so hopefully I'll only be scheduled like morning slash early mid shifts, because I do a lot of closing and a lot of late mids, and honestly, it freaking kills me. I hate, I hate it so much, and I've been doing that, I've been doing that for two and a half months now, like I'm happy when I get a morning shift or an early mid, but I mostly don't. And I, hopefully, hopefully there's no problems with changing my availability. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure my boss doesn't like me very much. I've straight up been told that I was disrespectful when I didn't want to do the job of... Okay, so I'm a cashier, and there's garden associates as well. There's garden associates. They work hard. They get paid $16 an hour. I'm a cashier. I work not super hard. I get paid $15 an hour. Well, they didn't have enough garden associates, so they put three shifts of mine on as a garden associate and expected me to work as a garden associate for my $15 an hour cashier pay, and I told them, no, I'm not going to do that, and I was not very happy about it at all, and I have a long history of insubordination, and uh, they took those shifts where I was a garden associate off and sent me home for that day because I had showed up uh, on a day where I was supposed to be in a garden associate and I was just trying to cashier and they're like, no, you're not cashier today, you're a garden associate. And I told them I wasn't going to do that. That's when the whole conversation where I was disrespectful played out. 
So I'm a little worried about my request of change of availability and I'm like almost half expecting them to accept it and then put me on the schedule once a week. We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, but right now I'm like riddled with negativity and uh, uh, just just like my worst fears, I'm like really projecting, I'm really projecting out onto the world of like expecting them to happen because I'm just in like a bad way. So why would anything good happen is the way my brain's like right now. So once again, thanks for watching the stream. I hope it wasn't too much of a downer. Like I said, I'm trying my best to not be I'll try to stream early these next three days. I, I, I close, I work like two to tens the next three upcoming days. So I'll try to stream early, kind of like today, uh, in the next few upcoming days. Hopefully I'll be able to be a little bit more content with life if I can pull that off. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for talking. I really appreciate you. Bye. Oh, Jeff, you're going to be here at 1225, so I could play more. Stuck at a train crossing at the moment. I don't know. I'm just going to end it anyway. I did my whole sign off. I did the whole friggin' sign off. The battle music still playing. It should have been peaceful the whole time. Definitely should have been playing peaceful music the entire time instead of the battle while I was doing that whole spiel of signing off here at the end. I'm just going to end it anyway. It feels weird for me to keep playing at this point as much as like I want to. Because it's an hour and a half stream. <laughs> but whatever. Or at least I was able to do one, I guess. Like I said, next three days... I should be streaming more in the morning. I better have the energy. Even if I don't have the energy to do it, I think I'm going to force myself anyway. And if I collapse at work, I collapse at work. Who fucking cares? All right. Bye, guys.